At 10.30 a.m. yesterday, police were called to a Maroochydore address uh, by a member of the public who had witnessed an incident there. At that location, police located a 31-year-old male person who had sustained a stab wound to the abdomen. Uh, police subsequently located a 29-year-old female at a nearby address. Uh, that female had serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Uh, it was then established that the 29-year-old female had been detained over a 14-hour period uh, by the male person at the Maroochydore address where she was uh, subject to ongoing sexual and physical assaults. Uh, police will allege that part of those assaults included uh, the woman having uh, petrol poured over her uh, and threatened to be set alight as well as being assaulted with objects. Um, from there, um, the female victim was able to uh, use a telephone uh, yesterday morning whilst the offender was distracted. She was able to call uh, friends who subsequently attended at the address. Uh, it was at the address at that time that the male person has sustained the stab wound and police are investigating that particular matter. Uh, the female and Both the female and the offender were taken to the Sunshine Coast University Hospital and that male person has subsequently been charged with offences offenses of uh, rape, deprivation of liberty, torture and assault offences. Uh, that person will appear uh, in a bedside court hearing this morning. The, the relationship between those two, can we say what they The victim and the offender knew each other. They weren't involved in a relationship, as far as we know, but they were known to each other. And um, the woman, is she still in hospital recovering? What are they, are they threatening or what? The female victim is still at hospital. Uh, her injuries are non-life threatening, uh, but they're serious injuries and she's still undergoing medical treatment for that. Can you tell us a bit about the person who called the police? Uh, the person who called police uh, was a domestic cleaner who had attended the address uh, had, had simply witnessed something that was concerning to her so she contacted police who subsequently attended. How serious are the injuries to the man who's been charged? Uh, the, the male person is currently still in hospital. Uh, he's expected to stay there for uh, a period of time. Look he's sustained a stab wound but he's, uh, that injury is not life threatening. Stabbed to his stomach? Stabbed to the side. Yeah. Oh, look, we expect the victim to be in a hospital for a couple of days. Uh, her injuries are still being assessed, but again, they're, they're non-life threatening, but they're, um, they're serious. At the police, was it like a kitchen knife? What was it? Look, we're still making inquiries in relation to what the weapon was used. Oh, the, obviously, the, the abuse to this woman sounds horrific. What, what, how can you describe it, like, on a scale of other incidents you've heard of? Or... Oh, look, it would have been absolutely terrifying for, for the victim. Um, we'll allege that she was detained for a 14-hour period. Uh, she wasn't able to leave that house. Uh, we'll be alleging that she was uh, tied up for protracted periods of that. So it would have been absolutely terrifying for her. Was she taken to that house or was it her house? Or? At this stage we believe the victim had voluntarily attended uh, at the residence. As I said, she knew uh, the offender. Uh, but whilst there, uh, an incident has occurred which has resulted in her being detained. Is the offender known to police? Look, the offender is known to police and we're making investigations in relation to him and also his associates. Investigating um, the people who may have injured him. Yeah, a number of people were spoken to yesterday, uh, and police have interviewed uh, all of those who have attended. Uh, that matter is still under investigation, but at this stage, no one has been charged in relation to the stab wound to the male offender. Likely to be self-defence or something like that. Or? Oh, at this stage, we don't know. It's still under investigation. So, it was through information from the man who's been charged that you were then able to find the woman. Uh, no, there was other investigations that led us to a nearby house that uh, located the victim. She was uh, transported immediately to hospital. Police were able to speak to her there and she's provided police uh, with a detailed version of what has happened to her. So she's certainly assisting police. What about the man? How is he when he's not being treated as a domestic violence incident? No, no there's, there's no indication that the matter is related to a domestic violence incident. Anything else you want to add to the news? No, I think you've got to do it. Can't tell us anything about why she was targeted or how or anything like that? Uh, look, that's still an ongoing part of the investigation at this stage. Yeah. yeah, police have spoken to the uh, the male person who has been charged. Uh, at this stage, in relation to the injuries that he has sustained, he's not prepared to assist police at this stage. Given um, the amount of um, effort that local police are putting into um, Is it surprising that these sorts of things are happening? 
Look, I think any uh, assault, be, and certainly sexual assault upon women, is very topical at the moment. It's, it's always a concern. Uh, in relation to what's been in the media recently for sexual assaults, uh, particularly around the Ocean Street sort of area, this is certainly unrelated to, to, to those type of incidents. It's a very different sort of crime that, that we're dealing with. As I said the, the victim and the offender were known to each other in this particular incident, uh, and we have some, some idea of the background uh, that may have led up to this particular matter. But again, any, any assault on anybody, but particularly women of such a violent and sexual nature, is always a cause for concern. Well, look, it's hard to say. Yeah. Um, I said she'd been detained for 14 hours. Uh, at this stage, the only reason that uh, police have been notified is that she was able to call her friends for assistance. Um, look, one can only speculate what could have possibly happened if she hadn't been able to reach that telephone. So, yeah, so there was a, a female cleaner who had attended the premises at around about sort of 10.30 this morning, or 10.30 yesterday morning. She had witnessed some things that were of concern to her, and as a result of that, she telephoned police who attended. And by the point the already... No, the, the, the cleaner had uh, observed the victim, but on police arrival, the victim was no longer at that premises. Thank you so much. Thank That's you all good. No worries. Just off camera.